Hi everyone, myself Keetika, Assistant Professor at Department of Management Studies of K.S. Rangsami College of Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about training budget. Before designing or before implementing training, we have also need to design our budget for the training process. How much cost it could involve, how much benefit we could obtain like that we have to design a budget for this training program. So, we shall discuss about the things which are considered to be in preparing a budget for training. So, the cost of the training program will depend on the types of training you require. Many different types of training assist, each varying widely in cost. So, first we shall discuss about the cost involved in training. Actually, we know that basically the cost is classified into two categories called as fixed cost and variable cost. This fixed cost remains constant, remains same, no matter how many individuals participate in the training. Like instructors or trainers, salary, marketing information, or distribution, these are called as fixed cost and they will remain same at any time. Okay. Next is variable cost. The expenses will vary depending on the number of participants in the training program. Like printed handouts, like providing printed handouts and providing lunch for participants, these are involved in variable cost. So, we can also prepare a training process based on the expenses which it could involve. So, for on the job coaching and mentoring, so, and for uh, being as a sponsor or self-directed study or video presentation, job shadowing. So, like this kind of training programs will incur only less expenses, okay. So, like e-learning, seminars and one-to-one -one tutoring, all this process involves more expenses. Next is providing college courses, group workshops like organizing external group workshops can be highly expensive. But consultant training, in-house training, which means a constant consultant from an outside organization will be invited to a company and he will be giving training for the employees. In that case, the expenditure will be, it will be highly expensive. Okay. Next is, how will you create a training budget? This budgeting for training does not mean using surplus money when it is available. Instead, you should build a separate line item for training into your yearly budget. A training budget should include the following cost. It should include like initial communication about the training program. Next is training delivered that is classes, video tutorials, e-learning or course fees. Next is having training materials like workbooks and videos. Next is instructor fee. Next is traveling, lodging or meal expenses required to participate. Next cost is about ongoing training. Next is contingencies which is the miscellaneous costs. Next we shall see about the tips for reducing training expenditure. Here we can say some steps for reducing the training expenditure. First is group training. Earn volume discounts by training numerous employees at once. Next is reuse the materials. Training materials such as videos have long shelf life and may be used repeatedly. Next is teach one teach all. Spend on-site training for one employee but have him or her present their knowledge to the remaining staff. Next is e-learning. Electronic options are cheaper than traditional instructed. Next is e-learning. Electronic options are cheaper than traditional learning. So another tip is to negotiate free or reduced cost training from your vendors who will be happy to help if it means their product will be successful. Remember the right training program will save you the money in long term. Next lady is about securing commitment. Don't forget that the employee's commitment is necessary for training to succeed. On one way to ensure employees take effort seriously is to have those getting specialized training to share the cost. Employees who have made a personal investment in the learning will be more focused on completing the task. Next, if you are footing the bill, get employees to commit to working for you for a specific period of time following the training completion. Let let them know you will require reimbursement if they aren't able to fulfill the agreement. Next, it is also important to have full support for training efforts from the senior people in your organization. If they understand the long-term value of employees' development, they should be able to help by remarking funds for training. Next, you should know how much to spend budget for a training. Okay, Many large organizations commit to investing anywhere from 2 to 5 percentage of salary budgets back into training. Why? That may not be realistic for you, but it's important to find a number you feel your budget can absorb. You may be tempted to use least expensive trainers on the, or the training materials available. 
often using the B level sources produce B results increase the likelihood of success by striving for the A which means the best result use the best caliber training which you can afford so these are the basic things which are considered to be preparing a budget for training so yes thank you for watching this video thank you